Kill Team Necrons versus Drakari. Uh, today's game is going to be between Drakari and Necrons, and we're going to be doing the match play mission Sweeping Clear. Uh, so there's four objectives. If one of the teams uh, gets broken, then it automatically ends with the unbroken team being the winner. Or uh, going from uh, turn four, I think, on, we start rolling off to see if the game ends. And then if it ends by that, whoever controls more objectives wins. Uh, let's just go joke and explain his uh, kill team right away. So for my Necrons, I've got a total of eight models. I've got a flayed one who's going to be my Zealot Specialist, just to help improve his close combat a little bit. I have a Death Mock that I gave the Sniper Specialist. Seemed appropriate to give him that. And then I have six Necron Warriors. One of them is going to be a Comm Specialist, just to help out the rest of the team. And then one of them is going to be my leader, since I didn't want to have to make either my Flayed One or the Death Mock a leader. Let's look at Danny's Drakari army. Uh, okay, uh, so for my Drakari, I have 10 models. I'm only running 90 points worth, so uh, I'm going to have an extra command point at the beginning of the game. I have a Hecatrix with an Agonizer and Plasma Grenades, a Witch Fighter with Razor Flails, and they're my Zealot, so they get plus one attack and strength when they charge. I have another Witch Fighter with a Shod Net and Impaler. They're my Combat Specialists, so they get plus one attack. And then I have three regular Witches. A Cobblelight Warrior with a Blaster. And he's a uh, he's my Sniper, so he gets to reroll hits of one. Two regular Cobblelight Warriors with Splinter Rifles. And then a Cyberite, uh, who is going to be my leader, and he's just got the uh, Splinter Rifle as well. So we just finished up with deployment. Uh, Joe got the greatest strategic positioning, or whatever it's called. Uh, so he'll be the one rolling to see if the game ends on turn four. Uh, Drakari. Uh, so there's four objectives. We got one here, one here, here, and then here. Uh, so Drakari, since they're mostly close combat, I kind of just deployed up in the uh, my board edge because we had uh, table quarters five inches from the center. Uh, and then I have two uh, regular gunners over here, and my uh, my leader is over here with the uh, rest of them. And then for the Necron, since I'm all shooting except for the flayed one, I just deployed in a cluster around the comm specialist, because he can give plus one to hit to one model within six inches in the shooting phase, and then I just have my leader deployed over here. But I've should have sight on some of the Drakari models from over here. Yeah. Uh, so we're about to get started. Uh, I rolled for combat drugs. I got a splinter mind, I think. Uh, so I have plus two leadership on all my witches. And uh, we can roll off to see who has initiative. So Drakari. Necrons. So Necrons will be moving first. Uh, so we don't have too much kill team experience, but it looks like this one's going to be pretty quick. Uh, I just move. I advanced everybody except two Cobblelight Warriors up down the uh, center of the board. Uh, a couple of them are, I think, like three of Joe's guys in total have line of sight to me. So the idea is just to hide around the corner and then next turn jump out of them. Uh, the two Cobblelight Warriors over here, I readied. For the Necrons, I moved up these two Warriors and the Flayed one, and then everyone else just readied themselves, but they can't see anything, so they won't be shooting at all. So Danny will get to shoot first. With his oh, guys. All right. uh, I mean, you're... Can't you death moxie? No, you moved him. Oh. I mean, you don't have a line of sight to these guys? No, you can't oh. see it. Well, then I might not have a line of sight to you. I mean, you can shoot at them. Oh, that's true. All right. Um, yeah, so I just shoot with the uh, front guy to... Is this your leader? Yeah. All right. Uh, so one shot. You're not in cover, but you're at long range, so I'm hitting it forward. Nope. And then the other one. Wounding on four. One wound. No AP. Four up. Good. Right. So I think that is the... Okay. So that's yours. So then mine, the comm specialist, will give his plus one to hit. 
onto the non-leader one, and then he's going to fire at the front one back there. So hitting on fours, or hitting on threes, hits. Well, I'm, uh, I'm covering. Right. And so you're hitting on, and so you're hitting on four. Well, plus one, so down. So minus two, plus one, still hitting on fours. So wounding on threes, wounds, minus one. Uh, six up. Feel no pain. Maybe. And then the leader hitting on fives. Nothing. Uh, so that the, so there's no test to take yeah, on that's anybody. that's entirety turn one. And we're going to move on to battle round two. Let's see who... Well, we generate our command points. So I am up to five now. One from the leader, one from Battleforged, I think. Right. And then so. uh, let's see who has uh, initiative. Seven for Dakari. Seven for Necrons. Rerolling. Dakari. Necrons. So I will get to move first this turn. So it's the Jakari movement phase, uh, since I have initiative, uh, but I'm mostly going to be charging, so I'm going to lift up this ruin, so we can see what's happening. All right. So I'm going to charge with the Hecatrix into the uh, Deathmark, and then you get to react. So I'm out of line of sight because I'm around the corner of the building. Are you going to retreat? Or... No. Right. So I'm going to charge. I think I need an 8. Got an 8. My tape motion. And then, uh, since it's battle round two, I'd be able to uh, reroll the charge if I wanted. So I get. Staying outside of an inch. Well, yeah. So to stay outside an inch of the flayed one, but I just need to be within an inch of you, so I can take that one. And then it will just mostly be down the line. So this witch is going to assault him. 12. Should just make that one. And then this next witch is going to charge him. I'll re-roll that. So. So she's not going to make that, but she's still going to move. And then the Shadnet and Impaler is going to assault the Flayed One. Seven, she'll make it. And then the regular one will assault the Flayed One as well. Made it. And the last witch might as well assault the flayed one as well. Made it. And then the two Kabbalite warriors will... Because if I move out, you can just ready and shoot me. So that's kind of risky. But I'll... Yeah. So we can put this rune back down. Yikes. Kaboom. And the two Cobblelight Warriors are going to move out over here. So I got my Sniper and my Leader there. For hopefully both uh, obscured at the moment. And is it just the Razor Flail that didn't make it in? Yes. And I then have the two Cobblelight Warriors in the back. And then the two ones back here were just ready up. And that is my movement phase. And all of my Warriors that aren't in combat were just ready up. So then we will be going on to the shooting phase. And I guess I'll be doing the same uh, shots from my Cobblet Warriors again onto your leader. So hitting on, hitting on uh, fours, miss. Hitting on fours, miss. Oh, I, you would have gotten in there, but. Well, none of them are going to be shooting over there. So the comm specialist will improve this guy shooting, and he's going to shoot at Razor Flail. Mm-hmm. So two shots, hitting on twos, wounding on threes, one wound. Uh, I only have a six up, so you ignore it. So feel no pain. Yeah, six plus. Nope. And then that is a damage, uh, or an injury. So on a four plus, she dies. She takes a flesh wound. And then the comm specialist himself will fire into the razor flail. Shots. Both hit. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Feel no pain. Make one. So one injury roll. A plus one because she has a flesh wound. She's dead. So that's first blood. 
And then who else do you got shooting? And then the other two will just do long range fire at the Kabbalite warriors in the ruins. So non leader one, miss, leader, missed. And then we're on to the uh, fight subface. So let's pull the rune off again. So I'm pretty sure this works just like 40k. So I, I choose a guy, do it, and all the charge models. This is uh, stuff for you to interrupt with your command points. So I'll start out with the uh, shot net onto your blade one. And she is my uh, combat specialist, I believe. Yeah, so she's got plus one attack. So that is going to give her uh, four attacks, I think. The uh, shot net still gives one, right, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Let me just pull them up to make sure. Shot net impaler is going to be strength user, two damage plus one attack. So she will have four attacks. And she will be hitting on threes. Two hits. And then wounding on fives. So one wound, uh, AP one. Five up. Good. And then, are you going to interrupt me? Uh, yeah. It's two command points? Uh, I think so. Decisive shot, tactical reroll. Decisive strike. Use this at the start of the fight phase. Another player uses tactic. Uh, you might be, you might use this before that, but you can go ahead so, and do it. So I use it on the flayed one, and he will attack the regular witch here. So three attacks, hitting on threes. And wounding on threes. Uh, four pin bone. Made it. Right, so then I will attack with the uh, hexatrix. So she has three attacks. Hitting on threes onto the death mark. And wounding on fours. One wound, uh, AP2, with her agonizer. Five up. Takes it. Injury. Dead. What's uh, reanimation protocols do? That's on a uh, unmodified roll of a six. Okay. So then she gets to consolidate it, and we'll handle that after the rest of the combat. Uh, so I got two regular witches right there, and they each have three attacks. So I'll do one after another. So first one, all three hit, wounding the death, the uh, played one in the fives. So two regular wounds. Four up, fails both. He's good. Oh. So wait, so you only die on fours and fives then? When an injury roll is ro when an injury roll is made for this model on an unmodified roll of a six, the model is not taken out of action and does not suffer a flesh wound. Instead, it is restored to one wound remaining with no flesh wounds. Oh my god. So you can heal up from from that. Yes. It's pretty strong. Uh, two hits from the second witch. And one more wound. Four up. Fail. So, so now he dies. So yeah, now he's just dead. Uh, and then I have the last witch up here on to hit. So three hits. No wounds. Uh, oh, I, I didn't shoot those two guys. Oops. It's all good. Uh, so you get to attack back now. So one attack from the warrior. Hits. Wounds on threes. Wounds. Four pin bone. Good. Um, so double checking the close combat rules. Uh, pile in. Consolidate. You may move the model up to three inches. It must end closer to the nearest enemy model. So these two would have piled in here. She, He lived when she fought him, and then she moved up to here. Right. And I think that is everything. So I lost uh, one witch. You lost two guys. Yeah. I, you, you're like leadership tied across the board, right? So you can't stop breaking yet. And then, uh, so I think that's the end of battle round two, right? Yeah. So the Necrons got to go first. Not too much for them to do. Kept everyone that was in combat in combat, so Danny couldn't just charge everyone else and win them not getting to do anything. Moved this one warrior out so he could see the Kabbalite warriors in front of the ruins and the other two just readied up. 
uh, the one which he wasn't in combat charged, and then the uh, these two dudes just readied up, and these two started moving out to get the objective they were near. Um, so shooting, uh, Joe gets to go first with his ready guys. So I'll have the comm specialist give his plus one to him, and then he's going to shoot at the lead Kabbalite warrior out in the open. So hitting on fours, missed. Where, where are you hitting on fours? Plus, well, you're, at, you're at long range, so minus one, plus one from the comms, so you'd be hitting on threes. So hit, wound, uh, six up. It's been a little pain. Nope. Uh, injury dice. Takes a flush wound. And then my ready dude uh, over here with the blaster. I'm going to use the careful aim uh, sniper tactic for one command point, which like I would have been up to nine, so now I'm down to eight. Uh, so I get to add one to hit rolls, and then he's a sniper, so I get to reroll rolls of one. Uh, you're gonna be obscured, so I add one minus one. So I, threes. Yeah, so I miss, and now it's your turn. The leader will fire at the lead Cobblite warrior. Hits. Wounds. Six up. Six up. Plus one. He's dead. And then uh, I got my leader. Uh, he will shoot at the warrior in the back. Uh, you're within 12, but you're obscured. So two shots. Minus one. Both hit. Wounding on fours. One wound. Four up. Failed. Dead. And then that is all the shooting now. Right? Yeah. Oh, so close combat. I had one witch charge in. The, uh, the uh, Shadnet Impaler was the one to charge. So she's got four attacks. I'm now hitting on twos from my... Uh, uh, power from pain. And I'm wounding you in fives. Nothing. Uh, do you want to interrupt again? So Might it, as well. It looks like the interrupt for uh, kill hey. team happens at the beginning. So I'll interrupt with the cob specialist. He'll attack the witch right here. Hang on threes. Nothing. Uh, Hex tricks will attack her three. Two hits. Wounding in fours, two wounds, AP two. Six up. Build one. Good. Uh, and then I have three regular witches. So one of them on him. I'll hit. No wounds. Next one. Two hits. One wound. Four up. Injury. Which one was that on? Uh, hit. So, Count Specialist is dead. And then on the last one. Two hits. Two wounds. Four up. Dead. Uh, and that was all my combat. So, one attack back at your Shadnut. Hit. Wound. Four up. So now I can fail leadership test. Yeah, and I, I lost two in a well, I'm plus two leadership on the witches. So it's gonna be like a So I'm still good. Ten. Minus two. Yeah, so I can't fail yet. Uh but the anyone none of my guys have flesh wounds because they've just died, so we don't need to take any shaken tests. So I think we're just on to turn four. Uh so Drakari had uh, initiative. So I just assaulted into the warrior over here. And then, uh, there. what's that? I said, I'm getting there. I'm slow always surrounded. And slow and steady. Um, and then I just moved uh, my other guys back to secure objectives. Uh, I don't think I have line of sight for any. No, I'm a uh, blast, you can see. And then for the Necrons, I just moved my two warriors up to grab that objective and to have sight on the blast guy that's holding that objective. 
Uh, so going on to the shooting, I will shoot with my ballista guy and spend a command point to add one to the uh, the hit roll. Uh, so you're outside of half, and then you're going to be obscured. So minus one total hit. And wounding on twos. A wound AP three, I think. So just injury roll. Oh, it's a d6 damage. So I guess it would be a <laughs> one. All right, so you take a flesh wound. Yep. So my... Is that all you're shooting? Yep. I mean, so, I didn't ready anyone. So he's not obscured to the lead one. The back mm -hmm. one he is. So lead one is... You're within rapid fire, so it's just going to be hitting on fours from his flesh wound. Hits. Yep, two shots. Nothing. Guy in the back. You get a command point. We have a, we'll we have a bazillion of wounds. Uh, six up. Six up. Uh, or so he takes a flesh wound. A guy in the back. You're outside a rapid fire range, so one shot. Hits. Doesn't wound. Uh, so that's all the shooting. Uh, the three regular witches all assaulted. So they will all... Uh, they'll attack first. First one. All hit. One wound. Four. Takes it. Uh, so then they consolidate, and that will be the end of turn four. So you had the initial thing, so you get to roll the dice and see if the game ends. On a... The battle continues on a three plus. So, so we got another round. Okay. And then uh, we'll do the moving. Beauteous. Initiative. Why don't you need to take a test, see if you guys oh, yeah. freak. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, eleven. I failed. Oh, okay, so it just ends then. Right, turn it back on. That's <laughs> <laughs> the worst. All right, let's get you... Well, I guess you have the footage of you rolling the dice. So you can sync that up with this, right? Is that the meme? I don't think it really matters, but... I guess... But let's, yeah, let's rolling get... the what is it morale test uh, your or whatever it's called. Yeah. So I gotta not get this in frame right on the dice box part. No. It, it, yeah, it, just don't get that on frame so I can. Uh, yeah. So we have to take the uh, the break test. So you lost how many guys? So I am down six. So I can fail on a six or on a five. I can fail. I failed. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that means, given the mission, that means you break and you lose, I think. Victory condition. If there's only one unbroken team, the kill team, that kill team's player wins. Yay. So, so Drakari win the first uh, kill team? Uh, remember? I hadn't broken. I think I had a chance of coming back. All the yeah. witches are going to get in close combat. Uh, remember when uh, close combat and kill team used to be suicide? I remember. Uh, I mean, it does seem kind of weird, like, this is only uh, one of our first games, but, like, given how fast Dracaria, it seems like once you get in the piling in, like, I mean, once you were shooting me without cover, you were just killing me in, like, one shot, but being able to get in close combat so quick with, like, going around here, so I don't know if, like, deployment, you know, if you had spread I, you guys out super well, that would have changed it, or, uh, like, this piece of terrain being here hurt you way more than it helped. I'm sure we're doing something wrong, in addition to, like, poor unit placement. Yeah. But Kari wins.